योग कर्मसु कौशल I am Dr. Devangar Pandya from Department of Chemistry, Saint Xavier's College, Autonomous Ahmedabad. In our previous lecture, we have discussed the importance of the topic organometallic chemistry and uh, uh, certain classification of organometallic compounds as well. In this uh, part, we will going to study the metal transition pi complexes, especially alkene complexes. So, metal alkene complexes. Learning, uh, learning objective of this lecture and uh, we will going to study in this as metal alkene complex in metal alkene complex uh, we will going to study the synthesis uh, its physical chemical property and bonding for this alkene complexes metal olefinic bonding interactions how the synergic bond generates between metal and olefin synthesis and the activities of metal olefinic complex and then ampoulang reactivity of olefins in metal alkene complex so these are the learning objectives of today's uh, this part of the lecture as you know that molecules that have multiple bonds whether it is organic whether it is inorganic will going to have a multiple bonds and that interaction with metal can form transition metal pi complexes Pi complexes of transition metals with unsaturated organic molecules such as alkene, alkynes, arene, etc. are quite important. They have beautiful chemistry and uh, application as far as catalysis is, uh, is concerned. A larger application of these complexes are there and therefore we are going to discuss but in this lecture we can include only alkene metal pi complexes. The complexes of transition metals with alkenes or olefins have known since 1827, but they were not understood well until 1950s. In 1827, the Danish chemist uh, W.C. Zeiss isolated stable yellow crystals of platinum ethylene complex in Copenhagen. And this is going to be the first complex or in the series of transition metal alkene complex and it is called J salt but in exact composition uh, of this complex was not known at that time and later on a number of transition metal alkene complexes have been synthesized and characterized by different scientists however J salt is still the most important transition metal olefinic complex and the first ever of its kind. Metal alkene complexes are synthesized by different methods. First one is the substitution in low valent metals. Here you can see the example of silver will going to give you the metal pi complex over here. Second one is the reduction of high valent metal in presence of alkene where you can see that platinum tetrachloro treated with ethene, ethene and it will going to give you uh, this is a typological mistake will going to give PtCl3 C2H4 minus where chlorine is substituted over here. From alkynes and related species we can obtain this you can see that uh, cyclopentadienyl tantalum trichloride treated with uh, the grignard it will going to give us uh, the metal pi complex of this molecule with butyl butene so this is the beta elimination and a reductive elimination where we are going to get a butene complex as well now, this salt is isolated as a stable yellow crystal where ethanolic solution of potassium tetrachloroplatinate is refluxed. So, very simple technique through which you can prepare it. You can see that potassium tetrachloroplatinate treated with ethanol and simple reflux will going to give you this salt and this even reaction can be uh, converted in a very easy manner you can obtain this salt by prolonged shaking of solution with uh, potassium tetrachloroplatinate in dilute SCL with ethylene. 
this reaction is generally a very slow reaction however it can be speeded speeded up by addition of small amount of stannous chloride in it so here you can see that a very simple reaction if you do not want to reflux and get this salt you can take uh, potassium tetrachloroplatinate treated with ethane in presence of SCL and SNCL2 only by shaking you will going to get this uh, yellow colored crystals of uh, uh, this salt another method is of silver ion similar alkene complexes which are water soluble complexes which already we have gone through the formation of such complexes can be employed for the separation of alkene from alkynes the next method is when sodium tetrachloroplatinate is refluxed with cis cis cyclo octa 15 diene which is in short known as cod in n propyl alcohol platinum CODCl2 is formed where platinum COD is a metal pi complex. So here is the example sodium tetrachloroplatinate treated with COD and we are going to get the metal pi complex. Well by condensation of metal vapor with alkenes you can see a very simple reaction of iron with two mole of COD gives FeCOD twice by reduction of a high valent metal salt in presence of alkene. There you can see that platinum dichlorocod complex treated with another molecule of COD. So it will substitute two mole of uh, chloride and it will going to give PtCOD COD twice complex. Uh, COD here means cis cis cyclo octa 15 diene. So that way we are going to prepare it. Another method is uh, from metal alkynes and related species. Here you can see that metal alkyne complex in presence of proton. You can see that proton will going to satisfy this unsaturation and then after the excess pair on manganese we are going to give an it to the CH and we are going to get a cyclic, uh, cyclic uh, structure of uh, this um, complex which is uh, resonating equivalence with this uh, alkene complex, metal alkene complex. By substitution of carbon monoxide of metal carbonyl you can form alkene complex as well. So here you can see that hexacarbonyl chromate treated with one molecule of C7H8 we are going to get the hexaeta complex with substituting 3 mole of carbon monoxide. Though the first metal olefin complex uh, stayed back a long time to the beginning of 19th century, its formation was established only a century later in 1950s. We are going to collect the structural information of this compound. While reacting with tetrachloroplatinum, potassium tetrachloroplatinum with uh, ethanol in 1827 by the Danish chemist Zeiss, WC Zeiss, synthesized a famous Zeiss salt containing a platinum ethylene moiety and it is uh, accidentally uh, represented the first metal olefinic complex which already we have briefed you out. Here you can see that platinum and its interaction with alkene in a Zeiss salt which is the first olefin complex synthesized in 1827. The metal olefin bonding interaction is best explained by the Deva Chet model that takes into account two mutually opposing electron donating involving the sigma bond uh, sigma donation of the olefinic carbon carbon double bond pi electrons to the empty d orbitals followed by pi back donation from a metal field d orbital into unoccupied pi anti bonding c double bond c and this will going to generate this synergic effect Quite understandably so for the D system, the formation of metal olefinic complex are not observed. The extent of carbon-carbon double bond forward the pi donation to the metal and subsequent pi back donation from the field D orbital of the olefinic 
कार्बन कार्बन एंटी बॉन्डिंग और बाइटल हैव ए डायरेक्ट बियरिंग ऑन कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड ऑफ मेटल बाउंड ऑलिफिनिक मोइटी इन फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट ए चेंज इन द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एज वेल एज कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड डिस्टेंस सो ड्यू टू दिस सिनर्जिक इफेक्ट नॉट ओनली द चेंज वी विल ऑप्टेन इन हाइब्रिडाइजेशन वी कैन फाउंड द चेंज इन कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड डिस्टेंस स्ट्रक्चरली वी विल स्टडी इट लेटर here you can see that uh, for the pi bounded field electrons will going to give donation to the vacant d orbital of metal to and form sigma bond and from metal d pi orbital it will going to get uh, give the back donation in the vacant anti bonding or by olefinic orbitals uh, forming a pi bond and this will effect will remain continuous will generate the synergic effect between uh, metal and carbon if the metal ligand pi back donation component is smaller than the ligand to metal sigma donation then lengthening of carbon carbon bond in the metal bound olefin moiety is observed so that lengthening observed due to this difference that the ligand pi back donation component is smaller compared to the sigma donation then lengthening of carbon carbon bond length in olefinic moiety is observed this happens primarily because of the fact that the olefin to metal sigma uh, donation removes the carbon carbon double bond of pi electrons away from the carbon carbon bond of olefinic moiety and towards the metal center thus decreasing its bond order and increasing the carbon carbon bond length so how carbon carbon bond length taken place that could be understood using this additionally as the metal to ligand pi back donation increases the electron donation to the field metal d orbitals on the pi star orbital of the metal bound olefinic moiety is enhanced this results in an increase in carbon carbon bond length the lengthening of carbon carbon bond in metal bound olefinic complex can be correlated to the pi basicity of the metal for example for a weak pi basic metal carbon carbon lengthening is anticipated to be small while for a strong pi basic metal the carbon carbon lengthening would be significant that means there are so many factors which can affect the carbon carbon lengthening one of these factor is the basicity of the metal pi basic metal if more then we can anticipate uh, long uh, or we can say a lengthening of carbon carbon bond length significantly high compared to the low basic metal another application of ligand metal pi back donation is in is observed change of hybridization at the olefinic carbon from pure sp2 in complexes with no metal to ligand pi back donation transferred to sp3 in complexes with significant metal to ligand pi back donation is observed so means where pi back donation is large compared to sigma donation the hybridization shifted to sp2 to sp3 the change in hybridization from sp2 to sp3 centers of the olefinic carbon is accompanied by the substituents Uh, being slightly bent away from the metal center in final metal acyclopropane form this change in hybridization can be conveniently uh, detected by uh, nma spectroscopy h1 nma and c13 nma for example in case of metal acyclopropane system which have strong metal to ligand pi back donation that means back donation is larger compared to the sigma donation the vinyl protons appear to 5 ppm in 1h nmr and 100 ppm in c13 nmr high field with respect to respective position of the free ligands here you can see that a cyclic structure and a non cyclic structure and with that the proton shifts 
be false when these two different interaction is observed. So this is metal acyclopropene system given by Deva Shet model. An interesting fallout of the metal to ligand pi back bonding is the tighter bonding of the strained olefins to the metal center as observed in the case of cyclopropane and norborane. The strong binding of this cyclopropene and norborane moieties to the metal center arises out of a relief of ring strain upon binding to the metal. Lastly, in the metal olefinic complexes, a very little pi back bonding component. The chemical reactivities of metal bound olefin appears opposite to that of a free olefin. For example, a free olefin is considered electron rich by virtue of the presence of pi electrons in its outermost valence orbital and hence it undergoes an electrophilic attack. However, the metal bound olefin complexes have pro pro predominantly sigma donation of the olefinic pi electrons and negligible metal to ligand pi back donation. The olefinic carbon becomes positively charged and hence undergo nucleophilic attack. This nature of reversal of olefinic reactivity is also called ampullen character, which is unnatural polarity. The structure of an anion of J salt has been studied extensively by various methods, including neutron diffraction technique. A structure is given here through this neutron diffraction technique where you can see platinum to chloride. These are two similar at equal bond length that is 2.30 angstrom and platinum to this chlorine bond lengthening by 0.04 angstrom compared to these two due to the pi interaction of platinum alkene where which is very close bounded with platinum with 2.02 angstrom and it will be little bent away 32.5 degree you can see one point and the carbon carbon bond length is not natural it's lengthening to 1.375 uh, compared to the natural carbon carbon bond length in a free alkene so that we can discuss in our next slides the main structural features of anion of J salts are platinum 2 ion is present at the center of a square planar. Three corners of a square planar are occupied by a chloride ion. C2H4 occupies the fourth coordination site of the square planar complex with carbon carbon bond perpendicular to the platinum trichloride plane and platinum ligand plane and the center of carbon carbon bond lies on the square planar corner. The C2H4 group is uh, significantly distorted from the planarity which I said 32.5 degree uh, the distortion take place in the uh, planarity of uh, carbon ethylene group. It means that hydrogen of carbon methylene group of coordinated ethylene molecule bent away from platinum plus 2 by 32.5 angstrom which you can see through this image. Platinum chloride distance trans to ethene molecule is longer than platinum cis a distance by 0.04 angstrom which already I have shown in the figure earlier and carbon carbon double bond of coordinated ethylene has been lengthened to 1.375 angstrom uh, which is 0.038 angstrom longer than the free ethene molecule which it should have 1.337 angstrom. The two carbon atoms of uh, coordinated C2H4 molecules are almost equidistant from platinum plus 2 ion. The nature of bonding between platinum plus 2 ion and C2H4 molecules in an ion of J salt can be explained nicely on the basis of Deva Chet 
the uh, Kenshin model developed in 1951-53. First of all, let us consider the nature of bonding in ethylene molecule. Uh, each carbon atom on ethylene molecule is sp2 hybridized. Here the hybridization is there. Valence cell electron configuration of ethylene molecule indicates that each carbon atom forms three sigma bond with other carbon atom and two with proton using the three singly occupied sp2 hybrid orbitals in this fashion you can see that carbon carbon interaction and carbon hydrogen sp2 hybridized carbon skeleton of ethene molecule one singly occupied to pz at, uh, atomic orbital is left unused on each carbon atom perpendicular to c2h4 molecule the, these two parallel sig, uh, singly occupied to pz and uh, atomic orbitals take part in linear combination producing 2 pi molecular orbital through this diagram you can understand that lco between these two pz to pz will result into pi formation so pi bonding and anti bonding two interaction addition and subtraction of this uh, 2pz is observed over here and this is the uh, half mo diagram indicating that the contribution of 2pz you can see two electron occupying two bonding molecular orbital and we have vacant anti bonding orbital while platinum uh, ion of the z salt as dsp2 hybridization and that we have sp2 hybridization in which the vacant orbitals or vacant space of this hybrid orbitals is filled by chloride and one space is filled by the alkene molecule the vacant dsp2 hybrid orbital of platinum 2 overlaps with the filled sigma orbital of chloride ions forming uh, chloride to platinum 2 sigma bond uh, formation and uh, three such of the bond are formed with the three chloride ion <coughs> using three vacant dsp2 hybrid orbitals with platinum 2 ions and the fourth dsp2 vacant hybrid orbitals of platinum 2 overlap with the filled pi uh, 2pz molecular orbital of c2h4 forming uh, ethene to platinum sigma bond formation in uh, nearly this pattern you can see that from ethene to vacant uh, dsp2 hybrid orbital of platinum a sigma interaction is taken place and this sigma donation uh, is given in the field to pz molecular orbital of ethene into the vacant dsp2 hybrid orbital of platinum 2. now the field d pi or dx y d y z that is the atomic orbital which is field one uh, of platinum 2 overlap with the vacant pi star to pz anti bonding orbital of ethene molecules which forms platinum to ethene pi back bonding or back donation so here you can see that the d pi field orbital of platinum interact with the vacant d uh, p pi orbital of uh, ethene and back donation take place over here forming the pi bond so it is d pi p pi bond formation now we have two interaction ethene to platinum sigma interaction and platinum to vacant uh, pi anti bonding orbital of uh, ethene reinforce each other which will going to give a synergic bonding so this will donation back donation will going to generate the synergy between the ethene and platinum molecule The extent of back bonding is undetermined and it varies depending upon the nature of substituents on carbon carbon bond, oxidation uh, state of the metal, and other ligands on the metal as well. So, these are certain factors affecting this bonding. Uh, we have another example of this class where you can see the acetyl acet acetonato or cyclopentadienyl act as the complex. Uh, forming the pi complex the tetrafluoroethene molecule uh, bond more strongly and at a shorter bond distance uh, here you can observe that uh, bond distance would be even shorter than the previous case 2.01 angstrom uh, compared to the z salt 
and uh, then does substitute it with 2.17 angstrom with the singly occupied one. C2FO is a poorer sigma donor but is a beta pi acceptor compared to ethane molecule. On account of highly electronegative fluoride is there as a substituent group on ethane molecule. It indicates that the pi accepting ability of alkene ligand is almost important factor in determining the bond length in these compounds. The carbon-carbon bond of alkene lengthens on bonding to the transition metal. So the metal to alkene to metal sigma uh, bond depletes the carbon-carbon double bond or we can say a pi bond by partial transfer of this pi electron to the metal and hence slightly weakens and lengthens it. So we can see that the major factor in lengthening carbon-carbon bond length is of back donation from the metal so any parameter which can enhance this back donation can lengthen the bond length between carbon carbon double bond as a result of this back donation electron density flows from metal to vacant pi antibonding to pz or molecular orbital of carbon carbon double bond group so here you can see that uh, we have uh, platinum attached by triphenylphosphine ligands where platinum would be in zero oxidation state so it decreases the carbon carbon bond order and therefore carbon carbon bond is weakened and lengthened compared to the previous case of ethylene here you can see it lengthened to 1.43 angstrom so in compared with J salt in platinum ion is in a plus two oxidation state which is poor donor and due to dipositive charge on it and uh, C2H4 is a poor pi acceptor due to the less electronegative hydrogen atoms is present on ethene molecule and therefore carbon carbon of uh, bond of uh, coordinated ethene is lengthened only slightly that is 0.038 angstrom while if we're going to uh, remove the chloride uh, spectral ligand by triphenylphosphine where the platinum would be at zero oxidation state then we can found that the carbon carbon bond becomes much longer that is 1.43 angstrom and the protons are bent considerably out of plane that means even larger than 32.5 angstrom it will bend away from this and give a little uh, liability in carbon carbon bond length the presence of electron withdrawing group on carbon-carbon bond also increases back donation and lengthening of carbon-carbon bond to a greater extent. We have another example for that that is platinum C2CN4 PS3 twice where platinum would be in a zero oxidation state and in a zero oxidation state platinum is a good pi donor that means back donation will be larger one and here cyanide is a good pi acceptor and therefore bond lengthening is even at greater extent as a result we can see that back donation becomes prominent and carbon carbon bond length even increased to 1.52 angstrom and that lengthened to almost 1.54 angstrom uh, it is quite similar to that one so here you can see that bond lengthening is even greater at extent if the substituent group is replaced from hydrogen to cyanide and it will bend away as well so at the same time 2p and 2c uh, that are bound to platinum is quite coplanar thus in the extreme cases uh, where both uh, c2x2 to metal sigma bond and metal to c2x4 uh, pi backed bond have an order of one and the bonding can be represented by simple valence structure involving only two sigma with sp3 hybridization of carbon atom so it is a shift of sp2 to sp3 hence the true structure of this transition metal olefin complex may regarded as the resonance hybrid of structure a and structure b so we're going to get the resonance hybrid of this two structure uh, with this uh, uh, substituent group and the spectral ligands effect on metal pi interaction 
Now this structure A represents the alkene to metal sigma interaction and structure B represents the extreme of complete back bonding and mixing of sigma and pi orbitals to form two sigma bonds between metal and olefin. This viewpoint is useful to understand and explain uh, the uh, structural variables. First one is that it increases in the carbon-carbon bond length, uh, bending of the substituent away from the metal as back bonding becomes more important or prominent. These two effects operate together as the electronegativity of the uh, X increases the delta beta uh, is equal to 2.09 into delta L where delta beta bending of the substituents away from the metal atoms and delta L indicates the lengthening of carbon-carbon bond in picometer. Now properties of metal alkene complex. The zest salt is yellow colored crystalline solid when ethanolic solution of zest salt is treated with hydrochloric acid concentrated uh, orange colored dimer is going to be obtained. So here you can see that zest salt treated with ethanol in presence of concentrated SCL will going to get the dimer of that compound. A nucleophilic attack uncoordinated alkene. A free alkene molecule has pi electron cloud above and below the molecular plane like this one and therefore it is a nucleophilic and is attacked by an electrophiles. So you can see that electrophilic attack but the T electron density in the coordinated alkene decreases due to the omission of alkene metal sigma bond and hence uh, we can found that the coordinated alkene becomes electrodeficient and it is readily attacked by the nucleophiles such as H2O, OH-, OME, CS3CO-, this kind of molecules. Uh, this property of metal olefinic complex is uh, on the basis of the VACA process for the aerial oxidation of alkene into carbonyl compound in presence of PDCl2 and CuCl2 in diluted SCL. So here is the treatment where you have alkene molecule treated with oxygen in presence of PDCl2, CuCl2 and it will going to form aldehyde. The mechanism of this part we can understand through this uh, mechanistic part here you can see that uh, like PDCl2 treated with chloride one we will going to get tetrachloropalladium complex and that treated with ethane molecules so one of the chloride gas substituted by that one after that it is treated with the solvent aqua so one of chloride again substituted by aqua molecule and then we will going to treat it with another molecule of water so that the uh, oxygen which have extra pair of electron will shifted on this one so we will going to get hydroxyl uh, compound that hydroxyl will undergo the beta hydride uh, transfer and will going to get this kind of alcoholic olefinic compound that enol and ketoenol tra transformation will going to give us aldehyde. Now the leftover platinum palladium complex will going to dissociate and will it is treated with uh, copper chloride and again we will going to get PDCL2 uh, dichloropalladium uh, salt again we can use it for the new cycle and that how that is how it acts as catalyst for this reaction. If the coordinated alkene is unsymmetrical the attack by nucleophile is regioselective for the more substituent position so that the bulky palladium atom goes to that carbon atom which has uh, minimum steric hindrance. Here is the another reaction where you can see that uh, the alkyl allyl complex is there and when allyl is there we will going to get a carbonyl compound rather than aldehyde. So this is another formation of aerial oxidation application. Now insertion reaction alkene ligand coordinated to transition metal has tendency to be inserted into metal X bonds where X is generally hydrogen atoms of alkyl group. And this one to insertion reaction proceed through four center transition state. We can see over here that the insertion take place between this and we are going to get this reaction. 
and this reaction metal acts attached from the same side of the carbon carbon double bond and hence it is also called cis insertion reaction we have the example of this cis insertion reaction using a very famous Ziegler nata alkene polymerization process through this ox and this is another oxo process is there as well ligand substitution reaction coordinated alkene has high trans effect uh, therefore the ligand trans to alkene can be easily replaced by other ligands you can see that trans to alkene uh, is uh, you can see here the chloride is substituted by uh, amine primary amine here the chloride is substituted by aqua so ligand substitution reaction is quite easy due to the trans high trans effect of ethene or alkene molecule Another example for this substitution, you can see that uh, the chloride substitute, uh, ethane molecule substituted by carbon monoxide or cyanide or trialkyl phosphine. Even these uh, four ligands have greater ability to form pi bonding, so it can substitute these molecules and gives different product. Electrophilic attack. Attack by the electrophiles on the coordinated alkene is relatively uncommon. The electrophilic reactions, however, may be illustrated by direct protonation and hydrogen uh, abstraction reaction. So, this is very rare reaction we can obtain for this electrophilic substitution. Metal alkene complexes shows different reactivity, insertion reaction. This reaction already we have gone through insertion into metal X bond yielding metal alkyls. Uh, the reactions occur readily at room temperature for hydrogen whereas for other component which is more electronegative than hydrogen such insertion becomes little rare. Also the strain alkenes and alkynes undergoes insertion reaction readily. Here is the example for that we will get the insertion product. Ampolung reactions, Ampolung reactions with which, uh, different polarity, reversal of polarity observed only for those metal alkene complex for which metal center is poor pi base as a uh, result of uh, uh, which the olefin undergoes a nucleophilic attack. Oxidative addition, alkene contains allylic hydrogen undergo oxidative addition to give allyl hydride complex. Alkenes are an important class of unsaturated ligands that binds to metal by sigma donation. Its carbon-carbon double bond and pi electrons also accept electrons from the metal in its vacant empty bonding pi orbital. Uh, this uh, symbiotic uh, sigma donation and pi donation back donation in metal bound olefinic complex have significant impact on their structure and the activity property. Quite importantly, the structure manifestations arising out of this forward sigma donation and pi back donation can be characterized by uh, 1H and C13 NMR, IS spectroscopic method, etc. Well, thank you for paying attention to this video lecture. Keep asking questions. As you know that asking questions is a beautiful way to gain knowledge. Thank you. Well, I would like to thank uh, HRDC Gujarat University, uh, Professor Dr. Jagdish Joshi sir, uh, Dr. Brambat sir, Dr. Priti Mayani ma'am and uh, entire HRDC Gujarat University team and special thanks to Dr. Dilip Vasawa sir. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to interact with uh, so many scholars uh, you have provided me this platform to interact and deliver some sort of insight in organometallic chemistry. So, thank you very much. All the best for the rest of the program to all the participants. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It was very nice and informative session for all. Thank you very much once again.